Hey everybody, we're playing Skull and Bones and we're looking at what the Cutthroat Cargo Hunt events look like in co-op mode. So whether you're playing Skull and Bones on co-op or single player, you may see these Cutthroat Cargo Hunt events pop up on your screen. If you miss the cooldown to join the event on that tab that pops up, you can simply open up your map, hover over the event on your map, and then join the event from there. At any rate, the event is on a timer, so you're going to have to race your way over there. Fast travels are ideal for this, but once you join the event, you'll be able to see all of the other people who have joined the event. Luckily, it's just me and my co-op partner here, and he is going to pick up the map, and I'm meant to defend him. Now, it's important to note here that once the item is picked up, it cannot be transferred or traded. So you have two options when it comes to trying to get this Cutthroat Cargo item to your co-op partner. You can either exit the boundary of the map, this will give you a minute to return, but what it also does is it drops that cargo item for your co-op partner to then be able to pick up. Be careful about doing this because other people could also pick it up too, but you can re-enter the boundaried area and then defend your ally the way you were meant to originally. Or because this event activates PVP, you can attack your co-op partners and deplete their health. You can sink their ship and then pick up the item from them at that point. So again, you have two options when it comes to transferring the Cutthroat Cargo Event item. You can either exit the boundary of the map or destroy the ship that has it. But at any rate, once you have the item in your cargo and you open up your map, you'll notice that there is a specific outpost that is associated with the Cutthroat Cargo Event. It is a different outpost every single time, so you're going to have to find that outpost. And there are a couple of caveats when it comes to traveling to this outpost. First off, you cannot fast travel, so you're going to have to navigate your way all the way there old school. And the second thing is, is that once you actually get to this outpost, you're going to have to disengage from combat. So you'll notice here that there are some towers that are shooting at me once I get inside this area. Once those towers stop shooting at me, I found a window to be able to disembark. And once I've done that, it's going to allow me to just open up the map and take a look at where the treasure is actually hidden. Now that we've disembarked at the outpost where the cutthroat cargo event has led us, we can open up the map and take a look at the icons that are on the map that are going to indicate where the buried treasure is located. So just to reiterate all of this, you can join the Cutthroat Cargo events. They are timed to join. You will be in there with other people. It is PVP, even your co-op partners. You cannot fast travel to the location once you have the item. If you're trying to transfer or swap the item, you have to leave the map area or destroy the ship that has it. Navigate your way all the way to the outpost where the Cutthroat Cargo event has indicated, and then you can open up the map, take a look at where the buried treasure is, and then go get the treasure. The treasures are pretty cool. Uh, you get a lot of silver out of these, and you will get something random like armor or cannons for your ship. But hopefully, this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.